Hi guys, welcome to my channel, DB Automotive. My name is Brian James, and thank you for taking the time to watch. Okay, so this channel's basically, it's dedicated to my philosophy on automotive. Restore, renew, rebuild. Um, to that extent, if you've not been watching any of my past videos, by all means, troll through my channel. I enjoy it. Ask any questions, I will answer them. In the background, just here, you can see the latest job I'm working on. I'm actually working on two projects at the moment. The other one's a bit larger than this. Anyway, so, what have I done in the past week? So, all I do on this channel is basically tell you what I'm doing each week. And you'll see that little steps will eventually add up to making a whole car. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll grab you and we'll just go through the things that I've done. So, hang on a sec. Radio. Look. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, big fella. Okay, so. During the week, uh, we went through and completely and utterly stripped the front calipers. Now, if I can just... There we go. That had been seized because it had been sitting for so long. So, out on the lathe, I polished them up. I polished the inside of the caliper. I got everything free-moving. And we've ordered... A kit now this is for both sides the, the kit doesn't but I have ordered a kit enough for both sides and uh, next week I will be rebuilding the calipers and putting them on the car also during the week I managed to get more of these uh, they are a wish accessory and I like them now that thing there Okay, you may be wondering what that is. Now that is a double-sided foam strip. So a lot of people, what they'll do when they put on the panels, will use a, a glue. Uh, but I don't, I'm not a big fan of the glue. So I use that. And that will seal off the panels, stopping any dust from getting in. Not that it matters, because guess what? No roof, no doors, no windscreen. Um, also, if you've been watching my previous videos, you'll note that I'm not a big fan of rivets. So, uh, when installing the internal firewall, I'm using the rivets. And as we can see, riveted. Um, there's a couple of reasons. Uh, but the main one is that if I use bolts, then they'll stick too far into the footwell, and they may uh, scrape and hurt your feet. Uh, also, while we're at it, I made a clevis for my clutch master cylinder. That's out of uh, 19 mil or three quarter if you're using Freedom units, uh, 316 stainless steel. So it's just bar form, and I just machined it up. Okay, let's put you back on the stand and I can talk to you again. As we turn around, oh, motor, oh, bright light. Right, so this isn't what I wanted to be doing at this stage. What I did want to be doing was making more brake lines. That will happen, but instead of just sitting at home and going, oh, I wish I had the tools, what I've done is I've moved on to the next part of the project. Um, that's setting up the pedal box and making sure that that's all good and that it, it will fit me. Now, this, this pedal box is adjustable, so once I get it all sorted to my spec, I'll be locking it down. Really? That's it? Look, 
I like to keep the videos short. I don't like to keep them too long because oh, people have got better things to do with their day. Uh, so, uh, just some information. I did have someone ask a question the other day about what do I use for safety in the shop. Now, safety is actually very important to me. First thing is, this shed is not wired up for electricity. Not yet. But, at the moment, it has no power to it. So that's part of the safety uh, recourse there. Um, once again, I'll grab you and I will show you what we ought to outside do. Okay, that's a little bit more gentle that time. So on the main wall here, I have my two fire extinguishers and a first aid kit just in case it all goes wrong now I do have first aid kits littered around the place but they get moved all the time so that one stays there all the time so I know exactly where it is So yeah, uh, what's happening for this car in the coming week? The rebuilding of the front calipers, the mounting of the front calipers. I need to get some brake lines uh, swaged up. Now, you can get brake lines that are screwed together. You can buy them on many um, aftermarket performance car places where you just get your brake line and you can just screw them together to your length. In New Zealand, that is illegal. They need to be swaged. You can run braided line, um, which is probably what is going to be in the front of this. I'll be having a mixture of hard line and braided line. Again, it needs to be swaged. You cannot have uh, the screw together style of lines. So that's basically it. Hey, you, you guys have a good day. If you like what you see, please hit like and subscribe and the notification bell so you can get notified when more videos come up. As you can see, this isn't what I do for a job. Um, I try and put up a video every week or two. There's a video of this, of what's happening to this, and the other project. So this is a Sunday project, the other one's a Saturday project. Um, if you've gone, come from the other project, I'll be posting videos up of that every week as well. Other than that, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.